share your screen with your audience. Oh, we're live. Hi, everyone. <laughs> uh, sorry, we've been doing um, lots of DIY and having dinner. Um, and then we just had loads of technical difficulties. Um, so who, who have we got online? Hi, Kath. And Jennifer, I don't know, uh, don't think, don't think we've uh, had you on one of the chats or premieres before. Huh. <coughs> oh, and Amanda, Jodie's mum's on, mother-in-law, hello, hello. We're just pouring a drink, hope you've got something nice and alcoholic or non-alcoholic. <laughs> oh, it's nice to relax, actually. We've, we've been doing like... Um... Bubbles? Oh, why not? <laughs> Hi. Hi, Kath. Um, yeah, so what have we been up to? We've been um, Hi, stripping, stripping uh, lots of paint off uh, the dining room, which is uh, one of the projects that we're working on with Chateau DIY at the moment. So um, <clears throat> I think it should look really cool when it's finished, but oh God, it is a tiring job. And it's just like, it goes on forever. Like it's just, you're always finding little bits of paint. and. Although we've got a really good paint stripper, that means we've sort of been able to get all the paint off quite quickly. You just got loads of areas where you've got caulking or filler, and yeah, it's just a bit of a faff. A bit of a faff. I think it's, <laughs> I think we've been doing it for four days. Four days solid now. Do you reckon? Mm, anyway, we're <laughs> nearly there. I hope we'll finish it this evening, and then Chateau DIY the film crew are coming next week. Is it Monday? Mm, yeah. Uh, for like three days, so. Uh, we need to kind of get it all ready for that, which will be exciting. And then we've got the dining room we're doing with them and bedroom number six, which we're on to, six out of eight. Yeah, although the bedroom, we we were like, oh, yeah, we can do this quite quickly. It'll be a really easy one. Um, and then we were like, oh, before we paint the floor with uh, with varnish, we better just work out why one of the floorboards is wobbly. <laughs> and we pulled it up and it looks like there's rotten joists underneath so we might have to kind of take up a whole load of the floor to sort that out <laughs> <laughs> we do we've got a few questions oh well we've got Kath, loads of loads of chat coming in Cass is asking what color i think you mean is that for the dining room um well a lot of it's going to be natural wood so that's why we're spending so long stripping it back but some of the walls it's going to be like a slightly how would we describe it well, it's called egerton place it's by myland if you google it but it's like a plaster color it's very darker. Nice. Darker, darker, really, really yeah. nice and subtle. Very classy, very dead classy. <laughs> um, so that's the colour of there. And then also someone's joining us from Vermont. Amazing. Okay. I'm really, I feel really bad. Is, is that is that Colorado or is that in Canada? In, in uh, yeah. Oh gosh, I'm just really sorry. I can't remember where Vermont is. Whether it's God, we've got someone from Chicago. We've got. Uh, is that Jimmy? Did I? I'm sure I saw. Yeah. Gosh, you've got all sorts. I think Hi, Vermont, Angela. I think Vermont's the US. Now you're putting now on. Is it? I think it's my geography. Colorado. Yeah. I know it's cold. Yeah. <laughs> New England area. There we right, go. Right. Thank okay. you. Thank yeah. You Sorry for that. our terrible geography. We've yeah. We're lucky we, we found our way here. <laughs> no, I guess we used to work at the Foreign Office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what have we been up to? So um, I don't know if you've seen our recent videos, but. Um, we're a little bit behind in the videos compared to where we are now. So thankfully, my wrist is now much better because in um, a video that's going to go up next weekend, um, I think you might have seen in some of the other videos where we did like the peacock room. Um, it sort of started and I was OK. And then I finished when I had a broken wrist. Um, and we were actually doing like the, the natural pool at the same time as the peacock room. And it was doing the natural pool where I fell and broke my wrist. So that in the next a video, year ago. it's more than a year ago. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. So it's yeah, no, no, it is just about a year ago actually. Um, yeah, so that just kind of completely scuppered all of our progress for ages. And uh, yeah, but we we got back on the uh, back in the pit again, back in the pit of despair. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, in the next well, the next video we'll be covering. Uh, the tragic moment, uh, and then the, the following ones will be um, yeah, where we get back on, get back on with it again. Yeah, which we need to. Um, just a quick kind of catch up on here. Yeah, Sorry, let's it's see what like, we've got. We've Loads got, of messages God, coming in. Dublin, we've got. Uh, hi Kate, hi Angela, 
Smooth Silk. Very cold in Wales tonight. It's pretty cold here, actually. Northern Ireland, hello. We have... Um, Munich. One of the things that's been keeping us busy is we've been trying to sort out the heating because um, just when we were about to have our first bookings, um, the boiler broke down. Excuse me. <coughs> I've got a frog in my throat. I was the... going to turn that mic off behind me because it looks like a halo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's basically a little... What is it, David? I think it's like David's statue, um, but it's quite bright. There we go. Very cool. Uh, uh, much more, much better ambiance. I can't tell it off. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I can't remember Sorry. what I was saying. We digress. Uh, yeah, we digress. What was I saying? Uh, I tuned out, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's that exciting. <laughs> How, how is the, the pool work going? So I was just saying, yeah, so we're going to pick up the pool video, pick up the pool project in the next video. And that, yeah, when in the last video that, that we'll be uploading, gosh, I can't really speak. Um, yeah, so in the next video that we'll be uploading was when I broke my wrist. And then since then, we made quite good progress, really. It's, really good progress. Um, it, did, it did hit a point again where we just, the weather turned and we had to stop again for the winter. And it's just really hard because the whole garden just turns into a into a swamp and you can't really do brick laying when it's freezing cold and pouring down with rain. So yeah. we kind of paused it again. But I think in the next, we might even do some work on it this week, actually. Yeah, um, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, if we finished uh, stripping tonight. Um, wallpaper stripping. Someone said earlier, I'd good to see your UV clothes on. So <clears throat> in reference to that, Julian did a funny little video. Yeah, if you haven't oh, seen the short I did earlier, yeah. I don't know, there's there's people who do these, um, it's mainly on Instagram and TikTok, uh, people do these, like, get dressed with me videos where they um, uh, they put on their fancy outfits and uh, expensive perfumes and uh, basically just take you through their outfit choices, um, which is what I did with my DIY outfit. So if you've not seen that short yet, do check it out. Uh Gosh, we've got all sorts of questions. So, okay, let's let's go through some of them. We've been very like random and chaotic. So, when you when do you rent the chateau out? Uh, so, when we rent the chateau out at the moment, we so um, we have been like doing road trips or um, use it as a really good opportunity to go back to the UK. Uh, so that's the kind of the main plan. Um, but yeah, it's it slightly depends on the booking. Um, but yeah, we've. It's been a really good opportunity to see a bit more of France on on the last occasion that we had a, had a booking. You've got no sound. Uh, I think everyone else has got sound. Uh, if not, everyone else has been very uh, polite about it. <laughs> what is your what is the fastest and longest project you've done? Well, I, the longest project is definitely the pit of despair. I'm trying not to swear when I talk about it. Um, <laughs> that's been going on for over a year now. I think we started at last. I don't even know, a long time, but mainly because of weather and like more important projects, we have to put it down, pick it up again. Our quickest project was probably we've done a the pink bedroom. Oh yeah, that was really well. You did all of that. <clears throat> yeah, I can't remember what you were doing at the time. But I think that was when I had my broken wrist. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, but like it was a dressing room for the previous owner, and um, which was Hold nice. On, let's just check. Has can someone confirm if anyone has sound? I think everyone has other than. Or Keith. Yeah. Is it Keith? Uh, has no one got sound? Yes, you can hear me. Okay. Okay, so I'm sorry. I think it's errors at your end if you've not got sound. Uh, Maybe log out and log in again. That's yeah, good. you could try that. That always works. But yeah, so the, the dressing room was... That anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If someone else can maybe suggest uh, logging out and logging in again, that might work for them. Uh, how do you choose your designs? Um, I mean, yeah, I'm sort of perhaps a little bit more conservative than Chris, and yeah. but we have quite similar ideas, and we both really like kind of quite bold, lots of textures and patterns, and um, like a lot, a lot of color, but also quite dark colors as well. Um, but Chris yeah. is just a little bit braver with it than I am, so he tends to kind of. Um, push the boat out a bit more and I'm always a bit like oh gosh will it work and hmm. then normally I come around to it in the end but I sometimes I do need reining in sometimes because I forget that this isn't just a house it's like people need to rent it out so 
I would probably go very dark everywhere if I could and like probably even paint the ceiling the same colour. So Jolien tends to rein me in and go, no, we need to think about, um, you know, who's going to rent it. So, yeah. We try to make it a bit of a mixture. So yeah, we we've got some rooms that are very us, um, like the Peacock Room. It's not for everyone. Like we've gone eclect eclecticism, I think it's called, which is where you have like loads of different textures and patterns. And yeah, it's been quite a controversial choice having both textured and patterned curtains and uh, wallpaper. Very controversial. Um, but we love it. And actually, when you see it in, in the flesh, like unfortunately, the photos just don't do it justice. But it just has this kind of very theatrical vibe, which we quite love about it. Um, but we've gone and done some rooms that are a little bit more understated, like the, the pink room. And even our own bedroom is is sort of a little bit more muted, isn't it? Yeah. And um, for me, like, I never really just decorate in creams or white. So the pink room I was talking about earlier, the which was the dressing room, that was like the first time I've ever done something quite simple. And I actually really enjoyed it. And then you make other things stand out. And it was, yeah, it was a nice little challenge, actually. Hmm. Um, what was the wildest, most ambitious thing we've taken on? I mean, I think it's the pool. Um, when when we started, mm. we thought it was going to be done in a month. Um, <laughs> I thought it might be done in two weeks. But um, yeah. as soon as we hired the digger um, and realised how long it took to dig how out, naive we were. two metres <laughs> down, we're in way over our heads. But we've read a lot about it. We've watched a lot of YouTube videos. Um, and there's a specialist in the UK. We kind of bought his little online manual thing. So. And if you, if you want to know why it's wild, I guess it's because it's it's a natural pool, so it's going to have lots of wild flowers in there. That and the flowers and plants are the things that do the cleaning of the water. It's, it's a very clever system with natural pools. If you have them deep enough, and also with some kind of bubble pumps or other other some design sort of elements, mean that there's enough circulation of the water so that it kind of moves to the plant area gets cleaned and then comes back to the swimming area so that's the plan yeah that's um, the plan indeed yeah. um so sorry amanda what's the question oh sorry smooth silk 47 I think. uh is one more naturally artistic than the other no i don't Ooh. think so i think we're both equally artistic um yeah and luckily we pretty much agree on every single design choice or artistic creative we have we're yeah pretty synced we're very lucky more um, artistic, though. I, I, I say you're probably a little bit more creative than I am. Well, I well it depends. I, I like carpentry and woodwork and things like that. Um, Which I don't. And you? Yeah. yeah. Um, but you really love I mean, if you hold a gun to our heads, I don't know. I'd probably say it was 50-50. But... Yeah, yeah, I think so. Hmm, we kind question. of have, like, different areas where we're perhaps a little bit more focused on the aesthetic of certain things. Um but yeah, oh, the roof. The roof was really challenging, but we had Adam, who was coming out again this week. Um, and I think just having an expert there really made it so much easier. Um, so yeah, it was really good fun doing the roof, actually. I quite enjoyed it. I mean, it was hard. It was a hard slog. Um, I wouldn't say fun. <laughs> I, was, oh, well, I, said, I think um, it started off good fun. And then when they left and we, we, we had to kind of carry it on ourselves. It wasn't so much fun then. As it so. went into like October, November, and it started to rain, and it was really cold, we really had to finish it. And then the longer we had the scaffolding, the more money it cost. And I was also afraid of heights, and so being up there wasn't my. Well, you sort of. I wouldn't that, call huh? it fun, but um, <laughs> we tried to make it fun. There's some good videos on YouTube, actually. Have you? Are they all up now? Yeah, yeah, all yeah. the roof ones. So if you haven't seen the roof videos, there's a whole folder of videos called like the Roof Project, and basically where we completely stripped down the roof of the the stables and and redid it ourselves which was it was quite ambitious really yeah, yeah. it was uh what's that question might be would, we, uh, would we take on another project once this is completed do you know what i'm not <coughs> sure this is ever going to be completed <laughs> like even when we finish the chateau by the time we finish the chateau we'll probably have to go around and start repairing stuff mm. but then there's also like a stable well, the stables the that we just roofed. I mean, at the moment, it's we, we put the roof on to keep it safe, but at some point it'd be nice to turn it into oh, yeah, into a nice so much potential. Yeah, it could be like the wedding venue or um, and a couple more bedrooms. Couple more bedrooms. It's, yeah. it's the size of a five bedroom house easily. Mm. Um, so it's a big job in itself. So, but you know, never say never. I mean, if we finish this and it brings in loads of money, we might sell and buy somewhere else. Who knows? But yeah. 
We've got our hands full at the moment. <laughs> so, no, it feels, <laughs> feels a long... Just finishing this project feels quite a long way off at the moment, but uh, we're getting there, little one step at a time. Right, what other comments have we had? Um, what made you want to buy and renovate a chateau? Um, no, do you want to start? Yeah, let's do the short answer. Um, oh, okay, so for me, it was, I used to travel to France every, pretty much every half term with my aunt and uncle who, I think it was my uncle's sister-in-law had a place in France. We used to constantly travel back and forwards. And every time we'd pass a chateau, I'd make them stop and always have a photo outside them. And I was like obsessed by just the grandeur, the beauty, the architecture, just so different to the world I came from in like Bedfordshire. Um, so that was from a very young age and I always had lofty ambitions, shall we say. Um, <laughs> I do is above a station. <laughs> yeah, massively. <laughs> but you can dream and they can come reality. Yeah. yeah. Um, and what it's was very similar for me, actually. Yeah. I used to have sort of dreams of, I, I remember like drawing these amazing diagrams of like a hotel that I might own one day. And um, and I worked in a hotel and decided it's not so much fun. Um, but the, the sort of idea of like owning an amazing place where you could bring people together and have amazing memories, um, that never went away. And uh, yeah, when I when I met Chris and we started, we had this idea that when, when we were traveling, um, oh, yeah, yeah we that. thought, oh yeah, we should totally set up a business and do something completely different. And this was like eight years ago or something. It was a long Before time ago Before Escape to the Chateau, the TV show with yeah. Dick and Angel would even come out. Yeah, years and years and years ago. And then we were like, um, we had a reality check. We were um, chatting to someone who was like telling us a story about how someone had lost all their money because the land that they were sold wasn't owned by the person who sold it to them. And we were like, yeah, maybe not such a good idea. But the idea never went away. And I remember seeing um, seeing something about how you could get chateaus really cheap. And yeah, I remember we you like, sent me the link and it was like 200,000 euros for chateau. Yeah. That was a long time ago. But um, yeah. yeah, and we're so like, well, we will do it one day. And we just, and then lockdown was the thing that made us go, right, life's too short. Mm. Well, we put in an offer on one before lockdown. We did just before lockdown. Cool. Happened, Very lucky yeah. we didn't get it because we would have. Um, yeah, we wouldn't have been able to come over and yeah i mean some people have managed to make it work but i think for us with with the, the plans that we had for that place it just wouldn't have worked and we would have ended up burning all burning through all of our money before we'd uh started the renovations which wouldn't have been good <laughs> <laughs> yeah right what other questions have we got have you met any of the other youtubers yes we've met we um have. yeah we've met terry and ash and we did a video on it actually so if you haven't seen that youtube video yet you should check that out um, also, we met Tim and and Rebecca. Although they're not YouTubers, but they they have like um, they're very big on Instagram. They're also on Chatter DIY as well. Um, but those are the only ones we've met at the moment. But we we'd love to meet up with others too. Uh, right, uh, the roof vlog was fab. Oh, thank you, Caroline. Mm. Uh, you must meet. What about uh, little yeah, we've more met... gilding chateau like chateau we like? Yeah, I did. So in this room here. I don't know if you can see, but we did oh, good luck. gold leaf some of the ceiling rays. I don't know. Can you see? Just a tiny bit. Um, but the trouble is, I think our design's a bit more kind of modern than the old kind of classical chateau style. And ours is, the chateau is actually from 18, what, 30? <coughs> and it was kind of, it was called the Belle Epoque um, era. And I didn't tend to go in for a lot of gilding, so it feels a bit out of sorts here. Um, but we do try, and I love gold leafing. I did a bit of copper leafing in the downstairs bathroom, which was great fun. Um, so, yeah, we will do bits and pieces, but I don't think it's going to be, like, kind of everywhere on all the details and all the panelling and stuff. Yeah, I think there's a real thing about being true to the time of the chateau, which if it was a, yeah, if it was, like, a more romantic era chateau, then, then yeah, we'd probably do more of the kind of traditional things. But when this chateau was built, it was very much like the time of eclecticism when they were drawing from different features from different times. And so you do, you can get away with that elements, but at the same time, it's, um, yeah, a lot of it was all, yeah, art, well, yeah, it was belly pop. You, you yeah. nailed it the first time. 
Yeah. Oh, what's that one? So how long have you, you know, we missed one? Would you make your own brand of wine or beer? I would love to. <laughs> I'd just drink it or there'd be nothing to sell. So there's this, <laughs> drink, there's this drink in Normandy that's really popular called Pomo. And it's basically Calvados and apple juice. Um, and I bought a barrel, which I thought was um, okay for fermenting stuff in. Oh, but yeah. turns out it's not okay for, it, it's not sufficiently strong and uh yeah we'd gone away for the weekend and uh when we arrived back it had exploded and sprayed <laughs> apple juice and calvados all over the kitchen it was carnage, <laughs> absolute carnage wasn't it? yeah um but it's a really nice drink and but i feel like after that failed attempt i'm not sure i'd want to try making anything else um <laughs> uh, apart from cocktails which we quite enjoy yeah. yeah um so it's a quick one would you turn the stables into sheets definitely would consider it um but there's no separate access so it would probably have to be rented out as a part of the whole chateau thing so we're thinking more kind of mm. ensuite bedrooms and a wedding venue area just um, to kate uh, kate westcott um locate the chateau so if you go to the chateau diy mm. website they actually i mean not all of the chateaus that do are in the youtube community um are on chateau diy but quite a few are so yeah terry and ash and but you can see every yeah. single chateau and where they are and stuff so that might help yeah and philip and anna who are literally just down the road they're only 20 minutes away we'd love to meet up with them at some point but because they're so close um we just haven't managed to yet um mm. but yeah do do check out the chateau diy website because it's got links to all of the chateaus on the show so how oh wait i just missed it how long have you been together Ooh, Ooh, God. When did you actually pick us the start date? <laughs> well, we met in the foreign office when we worked together there, um, which feels like a million years ago. I think that was like 2007. Yeah, something like 2008, that. 2008, yeah. And then we... Had a bit of a thing, and then, but didn't sort of... Uh, yeah, when did we did, get did married? Let's go from So there. we had like a year, but then we got back together about 2015, and yeah, we... Um, got married in 2018, and 2018, yeah, gosh. so been quite a long time now. So to lose track, <laughs> long enough. Yeah. Uh, prices have gone up with chateaus; they definitely have. But we saw it when we were trying to buy here. I think it had like the lockdown effect. Like in the UK, a lot of people moved out of London, bought somewhere else because they they could work from home and stuff. I think the same happened in in France. Like Parisians were like, okay, well I can go and buy a chateau instead of an apartment, and. English people were the same that's moved to France that's why I say it all just racked up so we were we got in as it was going up and uh we bought higher than we'd have liked I think but yeah we still got a relatively good deal um, how are we managing with the language Ooh. terrible <laughs> no we try but we don't really see anyone because we're like Quite from trade traders trade people yeah and we're literally the Brit people in the bricolage and the brocons and this might have this might answer some other questions, but we we also work in London as well. So we flip between London, France, work, travel, mm. then we're DIYing here, YouTubing. Like we don't have any time. We don't see anyone. Um, we're getting we're quite good on like DIY. We you can are. Struggle through you on are DIY really French. Yeah. Chris is actually better at listening, and I'm better at speaking. So we sometimes find that like we can struggle through with me doing the talking, Chris doing the listening, and a lot of sign language when we get stuck. Um, hmm. But mostly, like, people in Normandy are really lovely, and they're very patient in a way that I don't think uh, people would be everywhere else. Um, so we're quite lucky, really. We've got very nice, very nice locals. Oh, there is. Speaking of the Foreign Office, so uh, Melanie and Kelly. So Kelly, hi, Kelly. I used to work with Kelly in Downing Street, of all places, a long time ago. Um, uh, okay, and Kelly is asking, hi, is it going to be dog friendly? Absolutely. hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, we wouldn't we've have got, it any other way. We've got Bo on the floor just yeah, down there. Bo is going to say hi. Bo? Hey. Bo? Bo? Seth, say hi. What did you see? Just oh. about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. We wouldn't have it any other way. Um, it's already up on Airbnb and stuff, and we've made it dog friendly. You have mm. to. Uh, do you intend to grow the channel? Um, there's just a meeting of YouTube owners. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, no, I'd love to. But Stephanie's quite a long way down in the south. I think, like, when we've got more bookings, we will definitely try and do a bit, yeah, get around and see more of the, yeah. the Shatterlands. Um, but, yeah, we definitely want to grow the channel. Um, so do subscribe if you 
haven't already and do also share it with other people that you know that enjoy um sort of chateau youtube channels um because yeah we do really want to get a few more followers um it really helps us well it, it kind of we can earn a little bit of money from the youtube videos and it just makes it worthwhile investing all of the time in making them it's crazy for us as well. It's so nice to be able to look back on the projects and go, oh my yeah. God, I can't believe we did that. <laughs> and also it kind of has, a, it creates a bit of a community because there's all those other sort of Shatterlands doing their own renovation projects. And it can, it's a very weird world. Like it's not the most, um, what's the word? It's, it's quite difficult to sort of, uh, when you speak to a lot of people go, oh yeah, it's been really hard. Uh, at the chateau and it's just yeah, <laughs> it's, not the most, it's not the most relatable problem but Playing i think violin, yeah. other, other other people doing similar renovation projects i think really get how challenging and tough it can be um so having that community out there is is really great uh da, 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 da. gosh we've got loads hello sncf hi caroline you're very busy but yeah we yeah we are very busy um but yeah, and on that note, we probably should. We've been nattering away for ages. Um, and we do three more final questions. Yeah, we were saying we were going to stop after 20 minutes, so um, we just can't stop ourselves. Oh, hello, Chateau Deloney. Hi. Welcome. We were just saying we're going to have to go. But um, <laughs> we'll, yeah, if you've got anyone's got more questions, we'll do three more questions um, before we go. If there are any. If there are any. Maybe everyone's heard, us, heard enough of us. Do you ever argue about designs? Who's the most Who's stubborn? Seven? Oh, not designs. Luck no, luckily, very luckily, neither of us are stubborn. We're very open to suggestions and changing opinions and things. Chris wants to work late into the evening, and I tend to be more of an early bird. Um, so sometimes that that's true. That, yeah, but not really. I mean, we're we're very lucky we get on so well. Um, good team. <laughs> dream work makes a dream work. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> And wine helps. Of yeah, course. wine certainly helps. I think like there are some DIY jobs like the paint stripping that we're going to go back to after this, um, which is so monotonous that the only way of doing it is with a glass of wine, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Best of everything you do in the future. Thanks so much. And yeah, loads of people have joined. So really appreciate it. Um, it's it's just a great way to, to sort of reach out to the community and um, yeah, answer any questions you have. So Thank you so much for all joining. And yeah, That's hi, Rick. Kind of yeah. And uh, yeah, we will look to do another one of these, but we've got a few more videos. So next week, we will try and get the uh, the, the pool project going again. And so there'll be a premiere next weekend. Um, and then... It's the one you were working on about the watering oh, system. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we installed this amazing watering system in the uh, orangery because if we're not going to be here all the time, we need to make sure that we can look after the plants and neither Chris nor I are particularly green fingered. So, yeah. uh, That's not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we seem to kill more plants, uh, than, than plant. Um, but with, with this system, it kind of will take care of everything for us. It will tell us when everything needs watering and it'll even do it for us, which is really, really cool. Um, so I'm doing a whole video on that, which, uh, could be quite good fun. Yeah. That should be um, nice. Yeah, one. I think yeah, I think the pool project, and then then Gardena, and then we'll do a bit more on the pool. So yeah, you know, lots lots uh, in the pipeline. Yeah. So if you haven't, thanks for joining everyone, and if you haven't already, give us a subscribe. Is it subscribe? I never know the yeah. button you push anyway. If you haven't already, um, and then we'll do. We'll try and do more of these, maybe like once a month or something at the lives. But most of our videos are premieres anyway. So when you watch the video, we're on there chatting away, on the messaging. So be lovely to see you again. Yeah. Have a lovely weekend as yeah, well. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye yeah. Holiday next weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> oh.